Hey everybody, it's Max here. Today we're taking a look at this cool Italian imported car. This is a 1972 Lancia Fulvia. This is a Series 2 being a 1972. So versus the Series 1 that we have back there. On that note, I have a bunch of other videos uh, and I talk about these cars in depth. I do bring them in from Europe and I offer them for resale in the United States. This is a car that the United States never saw originally. It's very fun to have these. If you're a true car guy like my, like me, like myself, blah, 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 you'll get bored with Chevelles. I've bought and sold probably hundreds of those things. And you want something that nobody else has. This is exactly that car. <clears throat> there are very few of them in the United States. Uh, they're also extremely affordable in comparison to that Porsche 356 in the back, which is kind of a similar car. Now this is a front wheel drive, front engine, car the series 2 is made it to a five-speed manual transmission <clears throat> like i said this car came out of uh, uh trevisio italy and it was 100 percent legally imported in the united states it will be offered for sale on a clean idaho title that's transferable to any state and uh, it is turnkey i've done some service work to it i'll get into that but let's talk about the exterior because this thing shines so well it's definitely had a repaint but an extremely high quality repaint uh, when i received this car uh, <clears throat> it just needed a, a little bit of a light detail so we did a cut buff and polish on this and it shined up so well we'll take it outside and we'll take it for a test drive after we show you the uh, exterior condition under the sunlight. And why don't we take a quick look at the interior? Clearly, this is a red car finished with a black interior. What's kind of nice about this car, too, is it's been fitted with some aftermarket seat belts. The Series 2 has a little bit of a different dash and steering wheel from the Series 1. Not by much, but just a little bit. The vents actually provide a better spot for um, cooling or heating, and that does function as well. Also, the big difference, too, is that this has a five-speed transmission. That is a dogleg gearbox. Door shuts really well. Your door gaps are in good shape. You know, these Lancias were really the thinking man's car and the engineer's car. They were so darn well built. In fact, Lancia went out of business essentially because they put all their money into materials and they didn't care too much about profits. So um, let's go and take a look. I'll pop the engine compartment for you. This car was fully serviced by Santos's Italian Car Service in Los Angeles. They did uh, new brake pads, new brake fluid, that ignition switch I spoke about. They did a new valve cover gasket and also a oil pan gasket as well. This is a 1.3 liter V4, a very interesting engine. All of your VIN tags are intact. So this is a very historically correct car. It's definitely never been in any accidents. You can see it's all original, the original carburetor set up. There's your brake booster. This car does have disc brakes. Let's go ahead and open up the garage door. And, uh, or let's hear it start up. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the garage door. We'll take it for a drive.
go ahead and try to pick out any flaws in the paint. There's no big dents or major flaws on the exterior. I honestly have trouble faulting the body condition of this car. Hey, on that note, send me an, uh, an email, get in touch with me. I have a photo gallery with about 150 photos, including images of the undercarriage. So uh, don't miss those. All of your chrome's in really good shape. Your bright works very, very nice. Really no exterior flaws on this car. Absolutely gorgeous in that red. All right, let's take it for a drive. Watch your seatbelt there when you shut the door. Thank you. Really nice, simple in here. I'll show you that the fan works. Your dash is in really good shape. This is one of the nicest dashes I've ever seen on a Fulvia. All your gauges work. I went ahead and put some fuel in this car to make sure that the gauge worked, and it does. Please only use Shell or Chevron fuel. It's only the good stuff to use, and you need to use high test. Clutch lets out nicely. Steering's dead and true. And everybody loves a dogleg gearbox. We'll run it through the gears here. It is cold, so I'm not going to push the car too hard. Clutch feels really good. Power comes on strong. There's third gear. There's fourth gear. And let's say hello to fifth. There it is. Horn works. Let's see if our wipers work too. That's nice to see. Remember, the speedometer is in kilometers, as is the odometer. We're seeing, uh, we're reading 50. Uh, 5,798 kilometers. I bet you it's rolled over once. Still pretty low KMs for a car. Listen to this bump. Man, this thing's solid. I like hitting those bumps because they'll tell you if there's any squeaks or rattles or something that's not quite fastened correctly. We'll have another bump and I'll hit it kind of aggressive coming up here, but let's take it through the gears. to drive. Fourth and fifth. And we're just cruising at about 80 kilometers right now. I've taken this car on the interstate and uh, it's comfortable at about 65 miles an hour. Let's do a brake test. I'm going to hit the brake pretty hard. Look at the steering wheel. I'll show you that it doesn't dive to the left or to the right. Nice, dead and true. I tell you, these launches were built so well. Suspension feels really good and tight. It's not sloppy. We're going to hit that bump, so I'll be quiet so you can hear how nice it is. No drama. Well, guys well I hope you enjoyed learning and watching this video learning about this car and watching this video it is currently offered for sale this is what I do I bring these cars in the United States uh, spent a lot of time it is a full-time job importing these cars and making sure they come in hundred percent legal and on a clean transferable title so uh, this is uh, modern classics I'm located in Boise Idaho uh, Go ahead and give me a subscribe if you're interested in learning more about these cars. There's going to be a lot more coming soon as I've just got a lot of inventory and I plan on buying a lot more. So thanks for your time and I hope you enjoyed. My phone number is 208-720-8854. Feel free to give me a call anytime if you want to chat about this car or any of the other cars I have offered for sale. Thanks.